Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we will see another new feature of Oracle 11G, there is a snapshot standby database. We will cover the features of the standby, uh, snapshot standby database. We will see how to create a snapshot uh, standby database using the dgmjl commands and by using the SQL commands. We will also see how is the, what are the restrictions implied on a snapshot standby database. Finally, we will see how to convert a snapshot standby database back to physical standby using DGM general commands as well as using the SQL commands. Snapshot standby database. Snapshot standby database is a fully updatable standby database. That means you can create a snapshot standby database and open that snapshot database in read only mode or read write mode when you open the database uh, in the read write mode you can create additional objects like indexes views materialized views extra on the snapshot standby database the snapshot standby database is created from an existing physical standby database that means we are going to co convert an existing physical standby database to a snapshot standby database so a physical standby database which is in sync with the primary is mandate, mandatory to create a snapshot standby database. When the database, so the, when the standby database is running in the snapshot role, it can receive the archaeolog files from the primary, but these archaeolog files are not applied to the standby database. In the case of uh, previous version of Oracle, that is Oracle 10G, we could activate a uh, physical standby database and then again convert back to the physical standby database using the flashback database option. But in Oracle 11G, when you are using the snapshot standby database feature, internally we are using the flashback feature of Oracle, but we don't have to enable the flashback database explicitly to use a uh, snapshot standby database as long as we have not opened the physical standby database in the read only mode and when a physical standby database is converted to a snapshot standby database a guaranteed restore point is implicitly created and the flashback databases option is automatically enabled and we can use the DGM general commands or SQL commands to convert an existing physical standby database to a snapshot standby database. And later stage, we can use the flashback database option uh, to convert back the snapshot database to a physical standby database using the restore point which we created during the time of uh, activating a physical standby database to a snapshot standby database. And once the snapshot database is uh, reverted back to physical standby database, Oracle will automatically reapply the archaeolog files received from the primary. And the last point to be noted is that if you want to convert a snapshot standby database back to a physical standby database, we should open the snapshot standby database at least once in read write mode. Now we will see how to create a snapshot standby database using the dgmgrl commands or the data guard broker command line tool. For converting a physical standby database, as we discussed earlier, a snapshot standby database is being created by converting an existing physical standby database. So we have to use the convert database command of data guard broker to convert a physical standby database to a snapshot standby database. For example, from the DGM general prompt, issue the command convert database stand. Uh, for example, stand is a st uh, physical standby database name. So the command will be convert database database name to snapshot standby. That is, that is convert database stand to snapshot database. And we can view the status of 
the standby database from the view dollar database. If you query the database role in the case of a snapshot standby database, that is, if, if you are issuing the command select database underscore role from view dollar database, we will get a result that is a snapshot standby database. Also, if you are issuing the show configuration command of DGMGRL, we can see that in our uh, the database is named as a snapshot standby database. For example, in this case, we issued the command show configuration and we can see that prime is our primary database and the stand is the snapshot standby database. Now, let's see how to create the snapshot standby database using the SQL commands. The steps will remain the same thing, but we have to take some additional uh, actions since you are using the SQL commands. We have to make sure that whether we have stopped the redo application, if the re redo apply is active, and if you are using the real application cluster or a rack as a standby database, shut down all the instances except one instance. And make sure that the database, uh, standby database is mounted. It is not open in the read-only mode. And then we have to also make sure that we have enabled the flashback area. Because once we are creating the snapshot database, Oracle is internally uh, enabling the flashback feature and flashback log files are going to be created. So we have to make sure that the flashback area is uh, configured. And then issue the command alter database convert to snapshot database snapshot standby the command to be issued is alter database convert to snapshot standby now we will see the restrictions that is applied on the snapshot standby database the restrictions are the snapshot standby database cannot be the only standby database in the maximum prote protection configuration when the database is uh, when the primary and the standby is configured as the maximum protection configuration and if you are converting uh, a snapshot uh, a physical standby database to a snapshot role that means we are going to con compromise with the maximum protection mode and this is not acceptable and a snapshot standby database should not be the target of a stand a switch over or failover. If you want to uh, you do a switch over or failover to the snapshot standby database, we have to first convert the snapshot standby database to to physical standby database, reapply the changes which is accumulated during the uh, period and then can use the switch over or failover commands. And finally, the snapshot standby database should not be a fast start failover target. Now, we'll see when we are activating the snapshot database into primary role, what are the considerations or what are the additional points to be checked? We have to, first thing, we have to make sure that when the snapshot database is running on the stand, uh, when the, sna the standby database is running on the snapshot role, it is not going to apply the changes which are generated on the primary. So, the archaeology files are just accumulating on the snap standby uh, database. Now, in this situation, suppose if there is a uh, corruption to the log file, then we are stuck there. We cannot go beyond that corrupted log file. So, we should, uh, we, we, we may end up with a data loss. And also, if the database was running on the snapshot standby role for a longer period of time, then it will take a longer time of converting the snapshot database to a primary database because we have to reapply all the changes that's accumulated during this period. Now, we'll see how to convert a snapshot standby database to a physical standby database using DGMGL commands. The first point to be noted is that the snapshot database should be opened at least one time in read-write mode before it can be converted to a physical standby database. And then we have to issue the command uh, or we have to use the convert database option of the DGMGRL or data card broker to convert a snapshot database to a physical standby database. So the command will be convert database database name to physical standby. 
once that is converted we can use the um, SQL command select database underscore role from VDOL database or we can issue the shock configuration command of data gut broker in this example we can see that prime is our primary database and stand is again converted back to a physical standby database Now let's see how to convert a snapshot standby database to a physical standby database using the SQL commands. Here are the steps will remain the same uh, same thing. We have to, if you are using the real application cluster database, we have to make sure that we are shutting down all the instances except the one instance. And we have to make sure that the database in the mount stage and issue the command alter database convert to physical standby and once uh, the conversion is successful we can restart the database and then we have to we can restart the media recovery process or redo application thank you for watching this video please visit our website www.yshith.com for advanced training programs on oracle database thank you once again